ഞാൻ പ്രസന്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് കാണാൻ പറ്റുന്നുണ്ടാ ഓക്കെ സോ വി ഹാവ് വിത്ത് ഡിസ്കഷൻ റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ഡിസൈൻ ഫോർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസി ഐ ഹാഡ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ടു യു വാട്ട് വാസ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസി ദ ടേം എക്സ്പീരിയൻസി ആൻഡ് ദ പാർട്ട് മീനിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു യൂസേജ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ടേം ഇൻ ഡിസൈൻ ആൻഡ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിങ് സോ fundamentally what you have to understand was that basically product or design that will be the best suited for a particular situation process or a particular um occasion most convenient one uh that particular design is the best acceptable design for that specific product so that was that was the content that was supposed to be delivered with respect to designs that are conveniently considered as designs for experience and within that the basic content that we have to understand was that within the engineering designs related to design for expediency the major thought process that gets into the designs specifically uh, falling in the category of expediency was that during the initial phase of the design basically everybody have to employ or the designer has to employ an out of the box thinking method i had asked you to write down a few examples uh, of the designs or objects that you see in your day to day life minimum at least five which can be considered falling in the category of kind of an out of the box thinking designs or products so that were related to the terminology design for experience now if you observe a bit more carefully Uh, on a holistic level we can categorize the stages related to an engineering design process as shown in that particular the structure see uh, the stages covered or the different phases that falls within the whole total process you can see it as uh, stages such as ask research imagine plan create test improve and again it comes back to or joins back with the ask stage these are different stages that falls within the uh, process of engineering design see uh, similar stages or similar content we have already discussed within the early stages of our syllabus during the initial first time second module and all but the difference was we hadn't uh, come across such kind of uh, subheadings related to the stages we studied the same content with different terminologies that's all but the sense or meaning in the general Uh, perception, perception can be considered to be the same for example you can see you can see a stage named as ask here and uh, what is basically that stage intending to tell us that is it is to identify the need and constraints <coughs> sorry it is basically to identify the need and constraints see uh you have you have <coughs> come across a term named as problem identification before what was problem identification so it was the stage where you are clearly understanding what was the uh, design requirement that we are supposed to be uh, delivering with the design that means when we find an answer for such a 
categorization we arrive at or we can come up with a clear specific problem statement now that problem statement will be totally defined with respect to the requirements all the requirements and needs uh which has to be satisfied by developing that particular design or product so the same concept is being uh, put out here within the stage of ask so ask stage includes the same content related to problem identification and problem statement see secondly you can see the stage research research means we have to dive deep into the uh, found out requirements and constraints and have or uh, we have to get a clear understanding of exactly uh, what are the uh, i mean a clear understanding in the sense precisely we have to come up with the requirements or the exact situation now you can see the third stage which is given as imagine now that is uh, or within that stage you can see it is written as possible solutions that means you have to fundamentally generate few concepts related to the design that you are going to propose in the sense that design can be made within i mean uh, made in the form of a rough sketch or a uh, few statements requirement statements whatever may be the uh, the method you opt to do it should contain the basic observations or uh, concepts that you have already set up with respect to the design correlating with the exact requirements from that you can see the cycle goes to the next stage which is planning stage see within planning stage it is written as uh planning by selecting a promising solution that means during the imagine stage you have come up with few concepts with respect to the design that means these concepts are basically a set of alternatives among which we can choose uh one of the most suitable ones see that is where uh, the concept of expediency involves that means the among the alternatives the most suitable one for that particular purpose situation or occasion okay which is the uh, with uh, most acceptable one that you have to choose and that stage is given as planning stage now uh, if you look at the stage Uh, on a more general perspective the planning stage involves a lot of other stuff also like uh, apart from selecting a suitable alternative that means apart from selecting one of the proposed designs in the planning stage we will have to uh, look into areas like uh, how much or how much machinery might be involved in the manufacturing of uh, the product using the selected design then uh, according to the plan that we have selected uh, 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 total how many days how many months or how many years it might take to get the product in moving like uh, Where, which are all the places from where we can uh, get the best suitable raw materials for in, i mean uh, going on with the manufacturing process what are the manufacturing equipments or machinery is required how many uh, in in general the human labor that might be required so uh, like this a lot of areas uh, into which you will have to think about in the planning stage it is not simply selecting a best suitable option but rather we have to uh, put in light with respect to all these areas now then you can see that cycle is continuing and uh, next stage that we reach is create see creating a prototype 
this is also i mean the same stage that we have covered earlier see why do we have to create a prototype i have already clearly explained you uh, you might come across two terms like uh, one is prototype the other is a model what was the difference between both now model as you have already known uh, see model is something which gives a better understanding to somebody who is uh, trying to perceive the understand the design i mean better understanding in the sense it can provide more ideas rather than what we obtain by looking at a picture that means it's a three dimensional solid structure which can be rotated which can be examined thoroughly so basically model is something that is uh, produced in order to uh, give a bit more detailed understanding of the product but what was prototype see prototype was uh, it was an exact replica of the end product but we don't manufacture that prototype or that exact replica uh, on a batch wise manner because before manufacturing uh, we'll have to select the best suited materials for manufacturing that product for example uh see the chair on in which you you are sitting see uh, the chair see the product chair is manufactured making into uh, taking into considering considering its sole purpose uh, fundamental purpose of a person being able to comfortably sit on it so that is the fundamental sole purpose but you can see different kinds of chairs are available in the sense it's uh, chairs made up of different materials for example in your college itself uh, within your seminar halls uh, you can see metallic chairs chairs made up of uh, alloys largely iron or aluminum alloys within your class you can see uh, wooden chairs as well as plastic chairs the purpose of all the chairs are basically for sitting but still you can see chairs made up of different materials so so creating a prototype will uh, help us select the best suitable material for manufacturing that product uh, exactly keeping it in mind the requirement with respect to expediency so prototyping is also a significant stage that comes after the planning stage now what will we do with the prototype to underst uh, to obtain the results like uh, what what are the best suitable materials for manufacturing that product and all you will have to test the prototype so that is the exact uh, next step that comes after creating a prototype that means we have to test the prototype get the results then evaluate them now until and unless we obtain a feasible result we'll have to basically cycle through a few steps uh, i mean a few steps like planning and creating a prototype in the sense you will have to change the designs or conceptual drawings or technical drawings a bit then uh, create a new prototype according to the edited or uh, changed design then we have to test the new prototype we have to evaluate the results so until and unless a feasible result is obtained feasible result in the sense that can be related to the exact requirement that we are having at that for for that purpose so correspondingly we will have to cycle through these steps and uh, arrive at a best suitable result now what are the results that we obtain from the testing phase correspondingly we will be select the best suitable material for manufacturing the product then we can directly get into the manufacturing stage where uh, the real time production of that particular product is being done
Now, after the product is manufactured, we can uh, consider its uh, the design with respect to aesthetics, ergonomics, and all. And then we can deliver the product to the market. Now, you can see a stage that is coming after the testing stage, which is improving. That means improving the design. See, how does we arrive at such a stage? When we market the products and customers or people buy the products and use the product, usually the companies will be taking feedbacks from the customers. Now, why are they taking feedbacks? Because from the feedbacks, the, the concerned areas that are receiving a bit of negative feedback, that can be looked into and can be improved. That means this improvement can be made again by changing the designs uh, with respect to few aspects where the, where the changes are required. Correspondingly, new prototypes with added materials can be made. It can be again tested. And this changed product can be manufactured and then again delivered to the market. So that is what is happening within the improvement stage. Now, the improvement stage, uh, the improvement stage is initiated while we take the, or after we take the feedback of the uh, manufactured product or a delivered product. So uh, this uh, obtaining feedback from the customers will lead us from the improvement stage to the asking stage again. That is how the total process as in a cyclic manner is completed. Uh, see, uh, is it clear for you each and every stages that is described within the figure? Did you understand? Sure. See, you just have to, uh, you don't have to worry about by hearting these things, these figures and all with respect to the examination. See, you can present the answer in best possible manners uh, as you feel comfortable. Because there is no mandation that you have to by heart these stages, the name of these stages, and exactly present it in a cyclic manner. Nothing like that. The thing is, you have to only understand what are the stages what, or basically the technical terms are the things that you have to keep in mind. Other explanations and all, you can give it on your own. Okay. As you like, you can deliver the answers. But uh, you have to make sure that most of the technical terms are mentioned in your answers. Okay. So these were the basic stages that are involved within an engineering design process. And you can see how these are related to uh, specifically the area of design for expediency. <coughs> see, next thing that you have to understand is design for manufacture or production. See, uh, I'll just read out what is written there. See, product development can be described as a product generation engineering. A new product is developed based on at least one existing reference product. See, this is the basic trend that we see uh, nowadays in the sense most of the products with respect to any area, if you observe, are fundamentally a kind of change that has been made to an already existing product for that particular uh, same purpose and field. 
so there is nothing uh, negative about that but that trend but if you observe carefully you can definitely understand this thing it's a b- basic product generation engineering in the sense a totally new product which is coming into the market is very rare nowadays now see uh, as soon as the situation permits work should be started on restoring see that's a basic example that uh that can be related to this product generation engineering methodology so see uh, the work should be started on restoring water supply since water supply systems often have a higher priority in rehabilitation than other utilities in making improvised repairs any suitable material or equipment available is used to meet the immediate need a repaired water main line does not have to be leak proof to be functional expedient repairs are improved as time and supplies allow see this is a one kind of an example that uh, we all can observe in our day to day life in the sense uh, see the leakages within the main water supply line is a common issue that we face uh, everywhere i mean uh, along the road side you can generally see broken pipes or uh, water leaking out of the main supply line and all now fundamentally the water authority depart- department they will give contract to layman workers and they will be doing the immediate repairs and manufacturing work now nobody thinks about a permanent solution for that particular issue the solution implemented will be uh, temporary in the sense for the immediate stoppage of that leakage they will be uh, coming up with an alternative and that alternative will be the same alternatives or methods that have been been using in such kind of situations so that is what is fundamentally uh, designed for expediency or uh, repairing with respect to expediency means that methodology uh, on an engineer engineering level people won't be able to morally accept every time but it serves the purpose for that particular uh, immediate requirement hence that methodology or alternative is holistically accepted uh, can you understand are you able to get my point hello hello എടാ ഞാനൊരു മൂന്നും നാലും പ്രാവശ്യം ഹലോ പറഞ്ഞാൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് റെസ്പോണ്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ ഉത്തരവില്ലേ ഹലോ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ റെസ്പോണ്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ നിൽക്കുമ്പോൾ പ്രശ്നം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാല് അതിന്റെ ഇഷ്യൂസ് പലതുണ്ട് ചിലപ്പോ ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് കണക്ഷൻ പോയോ ഇല്ലയോ എന്നുള്ള കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ എനിക്ക് എനിക്ക് ഉണ്ടാവുക ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളുടെ ആൻസേഴ്സ് പറയാനുള്ളത് പറയുന്നത് മനസ്സിലായോ എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ആയിന്നോ ഇല്ല എന്നോ ഉത്തരം പറയാം യെസ് ഓർണോ അതോ അത് മതിയല്ലോ അതിന് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാണോ കുഴപ്പമൊന്നുമില്ല ബിക്കോസ് ബേസിക്കലി ഓൺലൈൻ സെഷനിൽ ഇതിൽ കൂടുതൽ ഇപ്പൊ ഒന്നും നടക്കൂല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നിങ്ങൾ ഇഷ്ടമുള്ള പോലെ റിയാക്ഷൻസ് തരാ തരാതിരിക്കാം കുഴപ്പങ്ങളൊന്നുമില്ല നമുക്ക് ഇതേപോലെ ഇങ്ങനെ പോഷൻ എടുത്ത് മുന്നോട്ട് പോവാ എന്ന് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ എനി ഹൗ സി ഇൻ എ ടേബിൾ ആർ മാനർ ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ റിപ്പയറിംഗ് വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ക്ലിയർലി ഗിവൺ 
see two sets of problem types are defined uh, occurrence of small holes as well as cracks in the main supply line basic repairing procedure that is uh, adopted usually adopted on the use of wood plugs to stop small holes temporarily now replacing wood plugs with permanent metal plugs at a later date so that is basically done on a later stage so temporary wood plugs can also be used to plug the ends of pipes up to 8 inches in diameter this is the usual methodology adopted uh, when small holes appear in the water main lines now see when cracks are uh, occurring then uh, valves are used to shut off in the affected area now notify the fire fighting authority in case of main shut off repair leak repairing leaks in mains using split sleeves or mechanical joint fittings offer the best method for quick effective repair <clears throat> so when cracks are occurring the main supply lines you will have to notify the fire fighting authorities in case you are going for or the department is going for a main major shut off so you have to you will have to correlate with another department for solving that particular issue and the adopted alternatives are also given there so fundamentally both these repair procedures are basically designed for expediency for that particular occasion or immediate uh, relief these methods are adopted they cannot be considered to be permanent methods of repair uh, in that particular uh, in those particular cases okay so i hope uh, with respect to i mean uh, by understanding these examples you can see the requirements for such designs and basic fundamentally the stages that are involved within an engineering design process all these concepts are clear to you we'll uh, anyhow stop it for today uh, let me take the attendance and then we'll uh, the